This is how to draw large images using classic mode. You can use this method on both iOS and Android. Start by making a large circle. This is just for reference, so draw these lines pretty light. This is going to represent how big her head is going to be. I'm trying to make it roughly the same shape as her head. Now I'm going to enlarge my image to match the size of the circle. I'm basically making a hole and then sticking her face in it. You can erase the circles you made, you won't need those anymore. Now we just trace the reference image as we normally would. The secret here is we want to make some areas as exact as possible. We're going to use these areas as reference points in a minute. You'll notice that because your phone's camera is so close to your paper, you can only see a small section of your paper at a time. So how do you draw the other parts of your drawing? That's easy. We just move the phone to where we want to draw next. Now press the move button and with just one finger, move the reference image to align with something that you've already drawn. Make sure you're only using one finger because if you use two, you could accidentally magnify your image. I've drawn the lips in pretty fine detail, so I'm going to use that as my reference point. Just get it pretty close because you can just nudge your cup to get it precisely aligned. Now just repeat this step of drawing a section, moving the phone, and realigning, and your drawing will be done in no time. And that wraps up how to make large drawings in classic mode. If you haven't already, check out the app. It's available on iOS and on Android. If you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out via email. Uh, you can use the email button in the app or directly sam at davinciiapp.com. And as always, if you make something cool, please tag us. We would love to see it. We're on all of the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Find us, follow us, and tag us. We're at DaVinci I or at DaVinci I app, and we'll even repost your work. One more thing, make sure that you have your notifications turned on or subscribe to us on YouTube, so that way you can get notified for when the next lesson drops. Never stop creating, guys.